How a wrong courier delivery sparked a war between French Indochina and Japan during World War II. A courier was carrying an important letter with him. He rushed into the building running towards the room marked in the message. He opens it up, and to his utter shock, no one was in the place. The courier made a grave mistake of mistakenly trying to deliver the letter in a wrong building. This simple mistake sparked a Japanese invasion of French Indochina. French Indochina French Indochina was a consortium of French colonies in Southeast Asia. The region fell under the French colonial rule in the 19th century. After the surrender of France in World War II, French Indochina fell under the control of Vichy France, a Nazi puppet state. After France's fall, intermediate French government made a pact WIH Germany to split French territories into two divisions. Those divisions were the occupied zone, this zone is entirely under the control of Germany. The Vichy zone, this is the free part of France, under the rule of Nazi ally and French dictator Marshal Philippe Pétain. Admiral Jean de Coup governed French Indochina on behalf of Vichy France. Japan and Vichy France signed a peace treaty. The treaty allowed Japan to place its troops in critical military bases in French Indochina. De Coup was infuriated by the Japanese occupation. After the Allies invaded France on D-Day, and the liberation of Paris in 1944, Vichy France collapsed. De Coup contacted Free French leader and British and American ally Charles de Gaulle for help. Help came in the form of the British Secret Service dropping agents to monitor movements of Japanese troops in the French Indochina region. Japanese Invasion the fall of France and the informal contact with Free France leader Charles de Gaulle raised suspicions among the Japanese troops in French Indochina. The general in charge of Japanese forces in French India China, Shunichi Matsumoto, contacted Tokyo to approve annexation of French Indochina. The Japanese high command hesitated to open up a new front as its forces were already stretched thin from fighting on multiple fronts. With reluctance, Tokyo gave a green signal to Matsumoto. Matsumoto gave an ultimatum to Deku that the entire French troop should lay down their arms and surrender with a timeline. Deku responded, inviting Matsumoto for negotiations. The courier carrying the request went into the wrong building and lost valuable time. Meanwhile, Matsumoto thought that Deku had rejected the ultimatum and declared a full-scale war on French Indochina. The ensuing fighting led to heavy losses for the French Indochina troops. Charles de Gaulle requested Allied forces to help fight Japanese forces in Indochina. However, the Allied forces were unavailable because they were fighting on other fronts. The nearest Allied forces to Indochina were in northeast India. There, British and Indian forces were busy fighting the Japanese army and the Indian National Army. Consequently, Britain refused to help France and the French were defeated. The remaining French troops escaped to China and Laos. After the defeat of the entire French Indochina government, Japan declared independence to the French Indochina region. Japan installed a new government to rule over the area. Aftermath the Japanese invasion of French Indochina was the only case where the French and Japanese troops fought against each other during World War II. After the end of World War II and bloody war between French colonial forces and Vietnamese communists, French Indochina became modern Vietnam. North Vietnam, part of Indochina, became a communist dictatorship under the leadership of Ho Chi Minh. Meanwhile, South Vietnam became an American puppet state setting the stage for the Vietnam War.